In this tutorial, you will learn about viewing other data outputs for capturing and understanding your simulation results. These data outputs include the mass balance window, the rates window, and the stoichiometry window. In addition to using charts, tables, element information, and the BioIn Explorer for reviewing your simulation results in BioIn, you can use the mass balance window to see the mass flow rates of a selected state variable of interest into and out of an element. Mass balances can be displayed in terms of chemical oxygen demand, nitrogen, or phosphorus. To open the mass balance window, place your cursor over the element you wish to view. In this case, I'm going to look at the aerobic bioreactor. Right-click and select Mass Balance from the pop-up menu. In the Select Radio button group, you can choose which material you would like to view the mass balance for. For this example, I'm going to leave the oxygen demand selected. This means that all of the mass rates listed are reported in terms of COD units. If your project is using an SI unit basis, then the mass balance will be in units of kilograms per day. If you are working with US units, then the mass balance will be in units of pounds per day. The list box on the left shows the input to the element. The list box on the right shows the outputs from the element. In each of these list boxes, any state variable that contributes to the material selected, in our case COD, are listed and the mass flow rate for each is given. You'll notice that although the mass balance is set for COD, the nitrate state variable is listed in both the input and output and that it is negative. This is because nitrate can be used as an electron acceptor. The mass balance window takes this into account and therefore reports nitrate as a negative number. In the summary group, the total mass rate of COD into and out of the element are listed along with the difference. At steady state conditions, the mass balance should be zero. That is, the amount of COD, nitrogen, or phosphorus flowing into the element should be the same as the amount flowing out. The gas phase is represented by the list boxes above and below the graphic. If the gas phase is not modeled, then BioIn reports the amount of gas transferred to or from the liquid phase, rather than the actual gases that are stripped from the liquid phase. If gas phase modeling is on, then BioIn reports masses from the gas leaving the element. For a bioreactor, the mass of gas leaving from the surface of the liquid is reported, while for an anaerobic digester, the mass of gas leaving from the exit gas is reported. Different elements may have slightly different layouts for the mass balance window. Let's close the mass balance window for the aerobic bioreactor and open the mass balance window for the secondary settler instead. Here we can see that the clarifier element, which has no exit gas input, uses the list box below the element icon to represent the underflow instead of the influent gas. In addition to viewing mass balances for COD, nitrogen, and phosphorus around an element, you can also view the rates of reactions in bioreactor elements. To open the rates window, place your cursor over the bioreactor you wish to view the rates for. In this case, I'm going to look at the anoxic bioreactor. Right-click and select rates from the pop-up menu. In the left pane of the rates window, the calculated process rates are shown with units of milligrams per liter per day. Reviewing the process rates is a great way to see which processes are underlying your simulation, as well as which processes are dominating in the selected element. In the right pane, the net conversion rates, or the reaction term, for each of the state variables are shown with units of milligrams per liter per day times cubic meters per these conversion rates are a function of the process rates, the model stoichiometry, and the reactor volume, and are equivalent to the difference between the mass rate into and out of the reactor for a particular state variable. Essentially, they summarize the generation or consumption of state variables in a reactor. So if the net conversion rate is positive, 
that means that there is a net generation of that state variable in the element. And if the net conversion rate is negative, that means that there is a net consumption of that state variable in that element. Another way to help you understand the processes underlying the Biomin model is by viewing the stoichiometry window. The stoichiometry window can be accessed via the Model Options window. We can open the Model Options by choosing Project, Current Project Options from the menu, and selecting the Model tab. Alternatively, we can click the Model Options button at the left end of the status bar at the bottom of the main BioWin simulation window. Click the Show Calculated Stoichiometry button. This opens a window that shows the stoichiometry of the BioWin biological model that will be used at your current parameter values. The far left column contains all of the biological processes contained in the model. All of the state variables make up the columns along the top. For a given process, for example, the aerobic growth of ordinary heterotrophic organisms, or OHOs, on readily biodegradable COD complex, or SBSC, we can scroll across the columns in the right to see what state variables will be generated or consumed in this process and by how much. For example, if the stoichiometry value is positive, this means that the given state variable will be generated during the process. If the stoichiometric value is negative, this means that the given state variable will be consumed during the process. The quantity of the stoichiometric value indicates the number of units that will be generated or consumed to satisfy the given process. It should be noted that the data that is summarized in the mass balance, rates, and stoichiometry window are current values for a given instant in time. This concludes the tutorial on viewing other data outputs for capturing your simulation results, including the mass balance, rates, and stoichiometry windows. Please see EnviroSim's video library for other tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.